back to here we go what's up everybody it's your boy slick tactics and the evo 2019 final numbers are here and man let's talk about it so i'm gonna go ahead and start from the bottom and move on up so the first game was 640 people entered blaze blue cross tag battle and i'm not surprised i expected it to be at the bottom if not second to the bottom because blaze blue cross tag battle is okay but central friction Guilty Gear, they're all better than that. And a lot of people are happy that it got more numbers than Guilty Gear last year, which is okay. And it's going to be at Sunday Finals, the first game, I think. So, you know, it's going to be super early in the morning. So, I mean, all in all, I like the game, but, oh, man. It took half a year for them to update the game when they told us the updates months in advance. Like, they told us the update three months later. Oh, the update's still not here. Four months later, oh, it's in arcades, but y'all don't have it on console yet. And we finally get the update. So a lot of people came back and they all just disappeared again because it was only four new characters. And a lot of people are waiting for Ruby characters. Like, where are they at? That would bring more hype if you bring more of the Ruby characters. But all in all, yeah, Blaze Blue is exactly where I expected it to be. Next up was 742 entries, Soul Calibur 6. And honestly, I kind of forgot about Soul Calibur 6. Like, their DLC characters are completely spaced out. Like, I came back for Amy. Amy was okay, and then I forgot about it. And I feel like a lot of other people forgot about it, too. Like, Soul Calibur 6 isn't that bad. It's way better than 5, but not better than, like, 2, 3, and 4, in my opinion. And a lot of people were turned off about it because of Reversal Edge. A lot of people are really frustrated with that whole rock, paper, scissors thing and how Reversal Edge can stop so many moves. Like, mo those i forget what the name of those moves are called but the ones with the lightning behind it when you hit them it's the only moves that can break reversal edge and some of those have a lot of startup where reversal edge can hit you before then like if they would have made it more like i don't know focus attacks in street fighter 4 reversal edge won't be such a pain in the neck but that turned off a lot of people so soul caliber 6 got more entries than bb tag because that's the one that i expected to be at the bottom but all in all they got a good amount of numbers and of course I'm, I'm expecting to announce Sofitio, whoever's the next season character during their finals and stuff like that. So they're going to get a little bit of hype. And yeah, Soul Calibur 6. You're exactly where I thought you was going to be. Next up to my surprise, which I also think is a typo because these numbers are kind of off a little bit, is Dragon Ball Fighters with 1,191 entries. And but right above it is Eunice, but Eunice says a thousand one hundred fifty six entries. So I don't know if that was accidentally a typo on Eunice or they accidentally switched the numbers or something. But next on this list was fighters. And honestly, I thought fighters would be a little bit higher on the list. But a lot of people always talking about how last year it had so many numbers and stuff like that. But it was first year hype. It's Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z is hype. They are the pinnacle. They're not even like technically anime. People who don't even watch anime knows what Dragon Ball Z is because Dragon Ball Z has a very strong legacy. But the problem is, this game, for most FGC members, this game is just, uh. Like, my biggest problem is auto combo whiffing. Like, in most games, if you sit there and just mash light punch, nothing. You just see them jab. But if they hit somebody, then they'll do the auto combo. But in this game, you keep doing the auto combo and some people auto combos on here are like god awful broken like Bardock, Vegito, Kid Buu and a few other people who have ridiculous auto combos that just devastate people and no push blocking and no I'm not talking about the reflect. Reflect is completely different from push blocking and the pressure game in this game whoo oh my goodness but a lot of people say oh it's because of Bandai and stuff like that no the game's still here Bandai doesn't control who entered the tournament and who doesn't enter the tournament. Um, they say it's because of Bardock. Yeah, Bardock is annoying. Last year, almost everybody had that character. Like, if you played a shot game for every time you saw Bardock's level 3, you probably would have died of alcohol poisoning. And the last tournament that they had with fighters, Bardock wasn't... He was around, but it was a lot of more Kid Goku, Kid Buu, and Team Gohan, to my surprise. But, yeah... The tier list, well not the tier list, but the strongest characters kind of switches around and stuff like that. Uh, but the game still doesn't really have that variety because, yeah, again, last year we saw a lot of Cell, a lot of Bardock. Like, a lot of the same characters. But, all in all, I still say it was because of first year hype that helped it a lot. But more on first year hype with the um, with an upcoming entry of the game. 
but yeah, fighters. I did not expect fighters to be this low. I, I could have. I probably assumed that it would be in top five as I don't know the fifth one, but not down here. But yeah, the spiders fix auto whiffing. Next up, which I already said was Undernight, Eunice, whatever it wants to be called. Now, honestly, I like this game. I had a lot of fun with it. And then since it went on sale, a few of my friends bought it. So then we have been playing this a lot. As you see, like I've made a few videos about it. This game is super fun. Like it's a really great anime um, fighting game. And I'm kind of happy that they announced that Evo. So we get to see some great finals. There's a rumor. Well, I don't know if it's a rumor no more, but the next game coming out. So we'll probably see a trailer for it. So I'm definitely hyped for that. And I can't wait to see how many people uh, are going to like do some cool and epic stuff in this game because again Under Knight is a really really fun anime fighter like the way people represent themselves and their special moves and stuff like that that they have variety it is not like one character dominates so we're gonna see some variety so I'm super hyped to see the finals for this one next up with 1567 entries and one game that I'm entered in Mortal Kombat 11 and also I'm entered in Blaze Blue and Samurai Showdown but Mortal Kombat 11 I like the game casually but rank match i do not like the rank variants of the characters i use are not uh I, I don't like them like i don't like the ones for jackie i really don't like the ones for baraka and i'm not a big fan of the ones for Jax. the same soon one luckily he's going to be available to play at evo is the one i can tolerate the most so that's who i'm most likely going to be using at evo and oh man again the game is fun just not rank variants like oh man they choose the worst ones like Sang Soon rank variants he doesn't even have none of the ninjas like really come on guys it's like y'all trying to not have fun in the rank matches like y'all pick some of the worst variants for rank and oh man it's gonna take a toll on these games in my opinion but all in all they still got some good numbers for another realm game and next up number four samurai showdown with a thousand seven hundred nineteen entries just about a hundred under the top three, which is amazing. I didn't expect these numbers from Samurai Showdown. I honestly thought it was gonna be like in fifth, sixth, or seventh place, like down there somewhere. But wow, Samurai Showdown showing that it's bringing the hype. And don't get me wrong, at times I see it as a fun game, and at some times I don't. Like there's a big patience to this game, which I don't like. But then you got some characters like Yoshi, Junbei, uh. That one dude who coughs and throws the apple. I see some fast paced rush down from these characters sometimes. And sometimes I see the patience. And the patience parts I don't like. But it's starting to turn me around with these these fat, some high tier gameplay where people are attacking fast is crazy. And it's not that footsy stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong, footsies are always great. But oh my goodness, sometimes this game, I just don't like the fact that heavy attacks can easily be punished. <laughs> like, I, ah, man, I do not like that. But all in all, Samurai Showdown, amazing numbers. It looked like it's gonna be a great tournament for them. And yeah, I really don't have that much else to say about Samurai Showdown. And now we get into the top three with the entry of 1,885 Tekken 7, which honestly I think should be the final game of Main Stage Sunday because Tekken is one of the most hyped finals to ever watch. And it keeps increasing in numbers. It, like this is one of the only few games that I see every year more and more people come and this game is old now but yet we still get a lot more entries for this Tekken is just the hype like I enjoyed every moment last year watching Tekken compared to all the other finals like I almost fell asleep on fighters I fell asleep during Street Fighter but I had my eyes glued every moment with Tekken but all in all I just feel like Tekken is definitely the king of FGC right now because Street Fighter 5 has been lacking in so much stuff and speaking of Street Fighter 1929 that's how many entries Street Fighter 5 got I mean Street Fighter is FGC Street Fighter is the legacy of fighting games so we already know that we're going to get a lot of entries but that game is just blah now like Season 4 hasn't even really like done anything. We got Kage. That's about it. Uh, and honestly, I for one don't really care about Street Fighter anymore. It's just... 5 is not a fun game for me. I love 4, I love 3, I love 2. But 5 is just bleh. 
And I don't know. It's just like I feel like they're not even really trying anymore with this one because Kage came out and they haven't really done nothing. They keep saying they're gonna announce something, but it's kind of weird to announce all the stuff after Evo. Usually Evo is the announcement of the last season, uh, last character of the season. But we've only gotten one character of the season, and honestly, I think Kage is not even part of their whole season pass for season four. But hopefully they come about add some more variety to the game instead of just the lackluster bare bones that this game once was. So hopefully, you know, we'll get something out of it. Shoot, hopefully I kind of wish they announced a Street Fighter 6 with a whole new frame of stuff because I don't know. I'm just not really liking Street Fighter 5 and the way they um, made it. But hey, it's still going strong. They're in second place, which is freaking amazing. Like, I feel as though no matter what, Street Fighter would never go under the top three. Like, they'll always be up there. Because, again, it's Street Fighter. It's the legacy. It's what Evo was about. Like, Evo was originally just Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom. But now, Marvel vs. Capcom just got booted out. And now, Street Fighter is still there, holding strong. So, I'm proud of that Street Fighter is still doing up and strong and good. I just wish, I don't know, there was a better Street Fighter game out now. Or if we can go back to four or something. I don't know. Huh. And last but definitely not least, Smash Ultimate with 3,492. That is basically double of what the other one is. That is freaking crazy. This giant has so many entries. But you also got to remember, Smash Ultimate is the ultimate casual game. And do not get me wrong, Smash is a really great game. I'm not trying to downplay the entries or anything, but... It's Nintendo and all of the legacy of the Nintendo characters plus extras on the side is a really big casual game. A lot of people play this, mainly casuals, like not like trying to discourage anybody, but a lot of those people in that tournament is casual. And I'm also that's for all the other entries too, when it comes to Tekken, Samurai Showdown, stuff like that. There's a lot of casuals to it. But, you know, Smash community just loves to stick together. And since Melee is gone, a few of the Melee people enter Smash. So they just basically absorb their entries and put it into theirs. Because I'm pretty sure if Melee was on the stage, which I'm glad is not, because I don't like having two of the same game on there. Like That's like having Street Fighter 4 and Street Fighter 5 at the same time, or having uh, Injustice and Injustice 2, and you know, stuff like that. But if Melee was on there, I wouldn't say that would got cut in half, but I'm pretty sure that would have dropped it probably would have been like slightly under Street Fighter or slightly under Tekken or you know if Melee was there it would have got sliced but I'm not trying to knock Smash Ultimate I'm glad that Smash Ultimate got all these entries because it's a fun game to me it's more fun with more characters items on and stuff like that but a lot of people like the 1v1 variant and to each their own and a lot of people say oh we should have main stage and da 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 this and now and we're better than this like a lot of people got really smug about it but one of the things that I try to bring up and a lot of people try to say that I'm just salty even though they don't know who I am or what I even play. I said that Smash has the first year hype. That's like, look what happened with Fighters. Fighters had that one year hype and it just dropped. And I'm pretty sure next year Ultimate is not going to get this many entries. Like the only person, only game that really gets more and more entries is Tekken 7. But a lot of people try to come at me with these excuses and saying all this stuff. And I'm like, that's not what I said. Like, Evo doesn't dictate the hype. That's not what I said. I even made a video about Evo not dictating the hype. Um, it's Bandai's fault that um, Fighters going down because of Bardock. Uh, I never said the reason why. I just said, look at the difference between first year and this year's hype. But people try to go critical and, what, and dive deep in what I said, but it was just really simple. Last year, Fighters had a lot of numbers. This year, it didn't. That happens to a lot of games. That happens to... <laughs> it happens to a lot of games. Most games usually don't get as many numbers from their first year high because it just goes down. Some get a little bit more, but some done Durandi change. But all in all, Smash is freaking amazing that y'all got 3,000 people to enter the game with. Uh, no, I'm not going to say nothing negative. I'm just happy for y'all. But uh, yeah, in my opinion, people always talk about it should be number one. I mean, just because you got the most entries means you got the most casuals. And most of y'all are not even FGC members. Y'all are Smash members. So, just like last year, the second Melee ended, I know it was a big gap in the stadium of 
just disappeared. And then once Tekken and stuff came, it all filled back up. But I know that those are not the same people who was there earlier. <laughs> y'all just come for y'all own stuff and then leave. And then y'all be real smug when we say something about y'all. Y'all want to say something about the other games. When y'all clearly showed y'all only care for your game. You don't care for the FGC. You care for the Smash community. And y'all show, not all of y'all, but a, a big amount of y'all show that. But all in all, Sunday Finals, in my opinion, should be like Tekken 7, like I said earlier. But if off this list, honestly, the game that I would I would love to see for finals is like Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Or I would say Third Strike. I love watching Third Strike. But the problem with Third Strike, you have top tier syndrome where we're only going to see a bunch of Kins and Chung Lees. We're not going to see variety. So that's why I would love to see Marvel vs. Like Capcom 2 where we'll have some slight variety. Or again, Tekken 7 where we have a lot of variety. Or shoot, even... Killer Instinct. I would love to see Killer Instinct back in EVO fighting lineup because that was an amazing game for me. But all in all, we got the numbers. I'm just hyped that we have even more numbers than before, than last year. Like, yeah. Because most of the time, a lot of people just uses the entry number as a pissing contest. But honestly, we also just be happy that EVO has grown a lot over the year. Because again, second, increase the numbers. Fighters, if it wasn't for apparently DLC planning, which most people say it would have had better numbers. Street Fighter still reigning supreme as number two spot. Uh, again, staying in the top three, which is still surprisingly amazing to me for Street Fighter. BB Tag getting more than Guilty Gear last year is impressive. And Soul Calibur getting more entries than BB Tag. Again, impressive to me. But again, all in all, we getting all these entries. We gonna see all this hype. So. What did you expect from all this evil hype? Until next time, I'm your boy Slick. See ya.